What do the collects teach us about angels? This is the collect of the holy angels. It's also the collect for the feast of St. Michael and all angels. It's found on page 251 in our Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Well, the Collect, first of all, doesn't speak about angels. It speaks about God, and it uses the descriptor everlasting God to remind us that God is the creator. God is immortal. God is the one who came before all. Everything else is created. Angels are created beings, just as mortals are. Angels are ordained and constituted. They are made and given a commission for specific purposes. Those purposes are to worship God in heaven, serve and worship God in heaven, and to help and defend us here on earth. Angels are sent, they are messengers, to bring some kind of news, some kind of instruction, some kind of challenge or warning to we people who are on this earth. Angels go between heaven and earth, between the mysterious and the material. Angels are, in one way, a link between heaven and earth, just as that Jacob's Ladder image that we read in the Feast of St. Michael and all angels, angels ascending and descending. We are different from angels. When we mortals die and go into the nearer presence of our Lord, we become like angels, as Jesus says. We become heavenly beings, we trust, but we are different from angels. We do not grow wings. Uh, we do not become heavenly messengers. We remain, the church teaches us, in our own order of humanity, of mortals, just as angels remain in their own order of angels and of messengers and of worshipers of God. May we be blessed to be visited by angels as God sees fit to bring us good news and may we be fit to worship with the angels in heaven when it is our time to join them in that heavenly chorus. May God's angels be with you, and may God bless you.